The Skin of Color Society has made such dramatic improvements, ultimately, in the care of patients with skin of color. The Society has grown in the number of members, it's grown in its mission, and it has by far exceeded my expectations for us to serve our patients who are underserved. The Skin of Color Society has made great strides in advancing diversity, health equity for patients with skin of color who suffer from dermatologic conditions. We continue to see increased efforts to reduce disparities, to increase diversity in our dermatology workforce, to expand educational efforts so our healthcare providers can be better equipped to diagnose and treat dermatologic conditions that disproportionately affect patients with skin of color. Research is so desperately needed, especially for conditions that disproportionately affect minoritized communities. So the Skin of Color Society is really working hard to better understand why these conditions are happening through funding researchers, through various grants, career development awards, but also by hosting educational meetings that raises awareness about these conditions. How can we talk about having health equity if we really don't truly understand some of the causes, contributing factors, the genetics of conditions that happen more commonly, more severely in patients with skin of color. So Skin of Color Society has definitely invested in researchers who are really and truly doing the work. So as the Skin of Color Society invests in researchers, they are also investing in future dermatologists. They are also investing in future scientists who can definitely pave the way to getting some of these answers that, that we don't have. We're seeing increased research into conditions that disproportionately affect patients with skin of color, which I'm sure will generate new therapies and benefit our patients for many years to come. Research is the foundation for all innovation, obviously, and having a good basis for not only throwing out ideas about research, but the funding, participation in clinical trials, which is huge because clinical trials have historically excluded patients of color. We view our relationships with industry and the Skin of Color Society as a partnership towards getting greater access and targeted therapies available to skin of color patients. We have engagement with industry partners, which supply us with the funds that we need to develop mentorship programs so that we can continue the pipeline of dermatologists of skin of color. It allows us to collaborate with each other through networking so that we can bounce ideas back and forth. That camaraderie of the members is unmatched and has led to so many innovations and so many opportunities that we can then pass on to our patients and patients who don't have access in their immediate community with an expert in skin of color. The Skin of Color Society is prioritizing cultural competency. There are several programs that are in place, such as the fellowship program for pre-doctoral or postdoctoral fellows to get experience, to strengthen their application for dermatology. In terms of dermatologists already in practice, we're having all sorts of programs and also the annual scientific symposium to further that mission. We've also learned that mentorship is essential in becoming a dermatologist and being successful in your career. And the Skin of Color Society has played an enormous role in allowing students the opportunity to become successful in matching into dermatology and becoming dermatologists in the future. There is the SOX mentorship program, there's SOX research grants, and most recently there are SOX fellowships that partner with various institutions as well. And so having these various outlets allows us to both mentor and foster the next generation of skin of color experts. Mentorship means everything for a young dermatologist. It's the ability to ask your questions, to obtain guidance, and also to walk the right path so that way you're more successful. The organization was crucial to my development when I was in residency, and I don't think I would be where I am today in terms of you know, my job or other accomplishments I've been able to achieve without the society. So many different ways that the Skin of Color Society is changing the face of dermatology. But 
more work needs to be done. We need to do more in terms of advocacy. We need to do more in terms of mentorship and training the next generation. There's more that needs to be done in regard to research. More needs to be done in getting all of these young people into dermatology. More needs to be done in terms of training our colleagues about skin of color. Our job is not over. 